Oh, Casey's there? Casey Powell, CP the franchise. Welcome to the show, founder of Knicks Fan TV here on the Goodyear Hotline. Raj Grobes, my producer. Casey, all right, what are you pointing to? You pointed to your hat. This is this is three to the dome, Max. This is three to the dome. You, yeah. you, you used to know it well as a yeah. former Knicks fan. This is the call sign to Knicks Nation. Yeah, Knicks Nation. Why? Okay, let me ask you something. Casey, why are you so loyal to this franchise who's not only done nothing but stink for all of you? How old are you? 36. So your whole life they've stunk. Basically your whole life they've stunk. And you no, no, no. I, I went through the Ewing years, Max. Oh, we actually you're 36 the years 90s, old. How man? old were you when Patrick Ewing was in his prime? I was, I was a good eight years old. That's when I came into the game. Right there, Knicks Bulls, Knicks Paces, Knicks Heat. Hold on a second. 36 years ago. Let me just do this math yeah. right now. It's 2021. Carry the one. We get there to 2015, 1985. Do you, you do were you born Googles, in Max. 1985. You, you were born in 1985. 1984. Do your Googles, man. I was it, there. I was 80, there for the dunk. You see the dunk behind me? It's right behind me. Classic days. All right. Even if that I was, was the case, you barely knew what was going on at the time. What have they done for you since then, Casey? Listen, Max, it's been a hard 20 years since we traded the captain. You know this. It's been a hard 20 years from, yeah. you know, the, the Houston $100 million contract to the Marbury era to, you know, bringing in Carmelo and Stat. Nick's tape was good. 52 wins, second mm -hmm. in the East. One, right? they year, out of one the year of getting to the playoffs and not getting out of the first round. You're celebrating that. You see, this is what I mean about the mind. Uh, they can't, like of an abused Knicks fan. You, you accept it. You're like, oh, they're good to me sometimes. Listen. One time in 20 years, we got to the playoffs. They Max, didn't win a series. Max, you have sold out. You're right. You used to be in these That's New right. York streets. That's right. They used to call you the general. That's right. They, they used to call you the general. They used right. to salute you. You yes. used to call it down the middle, objective mm. with no, the I Knicks. Objective. You were a diehard Knicks Casey, fan. Casey, I was never there objective. No I was, I was a Knicks running. propagandist. What do you mean? I was, I was giving I'm you Knicks, Knicks propaganda. Propagandist. I'm I was not celebrating Eddie Curry. What do you mean straight down the middle? The I was same Eddie my... Curry. I have notes from Knicks fans who said, you said when Eddie Curry was beasting in 06 and 07, yeah. one Max Kellerman said there aren't five guys in the NBA that he would trade Eddie Curry for. I was lying. We got it on tape. I was lying. We got it on tape. That's okay. I was lying. Not Exposed. only that, I was hoping. Number one. I had my Knicks Exposed. goggles on. I was hoping. He was he was beasting. He was scoring. And I was hoping, but that's what I mean. Casey, yeah. Casey Powell, CP, the franchise, founder of Knicks Fan TV on the Goodyear Hotline, Max Kellerman Show, ESPN Radio. By the way, you know why you're on? Because we tried to get Chuck D. Chuck is slammed. He does the show when he can. He said, you got to have Casey Powell on. He'd be great. And we said, all right, Let's Chuck see. D recommended. Casey's on the show. Now, the Casey. The fan base has appointed me. I understand. With the duties of confronting mm -hmm. the haters. They have put me in this seat. You got it. That is what Knicks fan TV well, you're is looking all about. At, you're one talking to a hater right now, Casey. You're talking to a hater right now. Now, listen. This is yeah. what I'm talking about. When you're a Knicks fan, you have to pretend Eddie Curry's great. You have to hope that David Lee, I, I, I once said I wouldn't trade him for Kevin Garnett. I, was, I drank the Knicks Kool-Aid, and I was also selling Knicks Kool-Aid. I was peddling Knicks Kool-Aid. But I, I got see. off no time served because finally it occurred to me that I cannot root for a James Dolan-owned team. Casey, do you know what it was like what? dealing with the Knicks in those days? Do you know what it was like dealing with them? When I got to L.A., dealing with the Lakers was a pleasure. Even when they stunk and I was criticizing Jim Buss, it was easy to deal with the Lakers. You know what dealing with the Knicks See? is like? I do, but this is what happens. When you leave home and you go Hollywood, you forgot where you came yes, from, Kellerman. Right. Where is the honor in front running? So you went to L.A. now. They won a yeah. championship. What did yeah. it do for you? How did it you feel, me feel when good. they won that championship? It made me feel good. It was good. empty. No, it made me feel good. It was good. empty. It made me feel good. Would it have felt as good, good as, if I, as if the Knicks won a championship? That I, and I rolled with them the whole time? Of course not. But that's the point, Listen, Casey. They're never winning a championship. It is all a part of the journey. It is what journey? all a part of the journey. We are on a journey right now, Max Kellum. This on is a why treadmill. you have me on. This is why you have me on. 18 and 17. Number four in the East. Put some mm -hmm. respect on our name. Yeah. All right? Mainstream well, media has been dragging us through the mud. LOL, Knicks. And now when they're trying to have sensible topics, sensible conversation about the team, they sound foolish because so. they can't even come back to the middle because the Knicks fan, the smartest fan, the most sophisticated fan in all of NBA fandom 
is not having it. No, wait, you Casey. have been exposed. The mainstream media has been exposed. You had one guy come on this station the other day yeah. and say that Austin Rivers was the reason for the Knicks' success recently. Austin Rivers. He hasn't been relevant in months. Casey, he hasn't played in weeks. I, I, I call it like I see it on the Knicks now. And when they're playing hard, I'll admit it. They're playing well. They're an exciting team to yeah. watch. And eventually, maybe a superstar will demand a trade there. That'll be the first time in my lifetime I'm 47 years old. Not 36 years old. I have 40, almost a half a century. I haven't seen it. And, and so that's great. Like, let them do it. But the bottom line is you're still dealing with a team whose owner – escorts fans from Madison Square Garden for having a sign that says fire Dolan who kicked Listen. Charles Oakley when you were still in diapers Casey what Casey Listen. Powell CP the franchise founder of Nick's T fan TV when you were still in diapers I was watch I was standing online around the block for Nick's tickets so my brother and I could go to Nick's playoff games sit in the nosebleeds and watch Charles Oakley dive on the hardwood for the loose ball Listen. and that man was escorted from Madison Square Garden by Jim Dolan and his henchmen. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. Listen, what happened with Oak? I said this to Oak. I had Oak on my show. Knicks Fan TV, number one show for the fans by the fans. CP the franchise on the check-in. I had Oak on my show telling us about the whole situation. I told him it was a terrible thing that happened. It should have yeah. never have happened. But Max, this takes two to tango. Charles oh, yeah? Oakley shows up at the Knicks game and chooses not Celebrity Row, but chooses right behind the owner. It takes two to tango. Wait, hold up, yes, hold up. You see what you're doing? Out. Stop right there, Casey. You see what you're doing? You have been acclimated to Jim Dolan's nonsense Listen. to the point where you're like, you can't sit behind the owner and have something to say without getting escorted Come out. On, you think? Man. Well, let me, let me say, the Lakers. When I was a kid, Knicks had two yeah. chips. Lakers had six. Celtics had thirteen. And I play one on one yeah. with my brother, and I be like fantasize that I'm this player, that player, and you know, at that point, we're, cho we're choosing up Lakers and Celtics because they're always in the finals, right? And I thought to myself, maybe if the Knicks get to do this and this, they'll catch the Lakers one day. And then maybe by the time I'm 47 years old, they'll have more championships than the Celtics. In fact, the Knicks have won zero since then. The Lakers have won 10, no, 11 so, now. So, and, so and you Casey, ran. the point is you this. You ran is what you're saying. The point you ran. Is, well, maybe. But the point, I, uh, you I, ran. I, I got no shame there's in my no game. There's no honor in the, front running, Max. Uh, whatever. Calvary. Maybe there's I'm no not honor. I have no shame either. I'm now, not listen. going to L.A. I'm in the mud. I'm in the listen, mud. With yes, the you are in the mud. In all of the NBA. That, that's right. You are in the mud. That's the point. Yeah. And, and, and here yeah. is the thing about the Lakers. You know, you could sit behind one of the bus kids or even uh dr bus when he was alive and you could you could shout something for the other team you think they're going to have you escorted yeah. from staples center what kind of low-class well, nonsense garbage well, is that but you accept you. that you're like oh it takes two i'm Oakley. not i'm not accepting it what you I'm just said it takes two it. to I'm tango not making, i'm not making excuses for dolan don't get me wrong but first you're a off, dolan if you come into my building if you come into my establishment and talk garbage and try to derail me from watching the game of my team. I have the right to do whatever I want. I'm not here caping for Dolan. He's made his mistakes. He's made boneheaded moves. I'd be the first one to tell you. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to run just because the team is not doing well. Wait till and you're now 40. here we are, Wait 18 till you're and 17. We'll see. Yeah. 18 and 17, fourth in the East. Put some look, respect on to our you. name. We're Casey, playing hard on the top, Thibodeau. Where does 18 the Dolan and 17, you're acting like they did 18 and 17, fourth in the but East. That's why I'm it's, here. It's, like, it's like their bar mitzvah all of a sudden. 18 and 17, Casey, who cares? Listen, 18 listen, and 17. Who cares? ESPN cares. This is why I'm here on the Max Kellerman Show. It is the talk of the town. The New York Knicks are this the, the talk story of the, of the first half of the NBA. Put some respect on our name. All right, we listen, were in the Casey, garbage last we, year. We, we were have, in the garbage. We One of have, the worst defenses last year. We're up against we're the commercial break the right top. now. We're going to continue this conversation. You want to come back next week? I'd love to. Anytime. All right, KC's coming back next week to continue this. We'll see how the Knicks do between now and then. All right, listen, everybody. YouTube.com, Knicks Fan TV, number one show for the fans. Let me say, fans. let me explain. See you guys Casey Powell, Knicks Spurs it's CP the franchise, founder the franchise, of Knicks the franchise. Fan I'm for TV. The fans by the fans. For the fans, by the fans. Yes, there he is. Casey Powell, ladies and gentlemen. Casey, thanks for coming on. We will continue this. Says, I'm running. Round two. And Round claims two, he's Max. not I'll keeping for Dolan. Oh, we'll continue it. That was straight talk wireless. No contract, no compromise.
Um, New York, do you forgive the Knicks? Plus.